Shalom Lachnik for his offering the glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Hakkardash, the one plus the middle song, such as the leg. And right now, I can basically listen, basically listen to bro. It's being renewed when you come to the truth and becoming a new man. Because honestly, you gotta remember, bro, the Lord does not want the same person for the same. Honestly, you don't want the same person that was in the world, bro. Yeah, put a lot of worldly shit away. Understand a lot of worldly shit away. It's coming to the truth. This is this is about true holiness, bro. And holiness means some separation, separation from the world. So get your ass away away from there, man. You know, that's that's part of the truth, but like getting away from the world and the things that are in it. It's Romans 12 verse 12 verse 2. In fact, <laughs> I'm just five verse straight on the top and reads. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh. That you present your body as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to you, how it should be in your service. Honestly, when we go out there and hire them, it, it is a reasonable service, bro. Lord want, always wants you to go out there, man. Like, he wants you to say, hey, you truly bought this for God, bro. It is reasonable, because honestly, this is for our eternal salvation, man. Our salvation of our souls. And they say, oh, you know, I don't want to look weird, I just that. Fuck all that shit. Honestly, fuck all that shit. Means I cannot tell you a single motherfucking person face face that has walked up to camp and is like this left. I can't. They walk back up and down the street. I can't remember their faces. If I don't remember you, there's no fucking worry about that shit, man. And they're looking at the group like, nah, bro. He says they chose these foolish to confound the wise. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. By the renewing of your mind. Now, for is just by the chance of the renewing of your mind. So the Lord knows that you're in some stupid ass shit, bro. The Lord knows you're into whatever the fuck, man. Whatever it is, bro. Get the fuck out of it. By the renewing of your mind. And then, oh, we're gonna put a, a, a holy, uh, a holy look over us. And that, nah, man. Be truly holy, bro. Being actually separate, being actually a whole man, bro. I was, oh, you know, we're doing this in new content. It's still like, nah, bro. Then anyway, they be transferred their room in your mind. They may prove what is what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of Yahweh. For I say, though the grace given to me, to every man that's among you, not to think myself more highly, how to think, but to think soberly. As I said, according as Yahweh have dealt to every man to measure of faith. I think soberly, bro. Don't think, don't think, do not think too highly of yourself. Understand that the Lord can take your ass out at any single fucking moment in this thing, bro. All you're doing is you understand the Lord, if really wants to, bro, He could take any one of us out. He could give, He could take away your spirit and give it to the next man. Yes, you know how scary that shit is? Don't don't ever think that oh you good you uh, you made it you good bro hell nah man we ain't, we don't know who the elect is and that's for and that's for and that's by design thinking that oh we we uh, we it and hell nah bro most high willing most high willing to be a part of that man most high willing bro but I said things I said things I was just right here I said not to think myself and highly think I ought to think but think soberly if I can get the word soberly in the blue letter real quick. It's a real quick slip. There we go. To be a sound mind, to exercise self-control, to curb one's passions, to put a moderate estimate upon oneself and one thing of oneself soberly. To be right, to be in a right, to be in right, right mind. Be in a right mind, bro. Don't think that you the shit. That's where that pride comes, in, man. Hey, think soberly, stuff like man, you. Like it's just because, like, oh, say you're out there, right? Say out there, and what are you doing this time? Like, oh, well, it didn't happen last. Like, hey, bro, man, it happened this time. But like, more, and more, get involved in the worldly shit that they do out there, man. That shit gonna fucking inch by inch take away from you. Think soberly, stuff, bro. Hey, 
Don't think that hey, you made it in the scene, brother. We're not there yet. Hear that real quick, so. He's not talking about that, man. Yeah, this is Galatians 6 verse 3. Read but for, for, if, sorry, for if a man think himself be something, but yet nothing he deceives himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoiced in himself and alone and not in another. Prove to your prove this prove that you're about this truth to yourself or to anyone else, man. Then am I doing what am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing, bro? Am I doing what if am I walking as the elect? Most likely part of you that man. I mean, how should I came down right now? Will he be ashamed? To be very careful, bro. Because honestly, if you don't know, who, we do not know who it is yet. And honestly, but it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a good. Because hey, if you did, if you if you had the golden ticket to life, you'd be doing fuck all. You'd be doing this and you'd be doing this that, and smoking weed like that. No, nah, bro. We ain't about that shit. And this is, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Isaiah 5 or 7 reads, Let the wicked forsake his way and arch man his thoughts. Say, hey, man, if, you, if you're out there, man, you're doing this, bro. Hey, you hear about the truth, man? Hey, forget about that shit, bro. Forget the world. Forget the things in it. The luxury, the this, that, and the other. Forget all that shit, bro. Come back, bro. Let the, the wicked forsake his way and arch man his thoughts and let him return to the most high. For all. And he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he and bundly parted. With our power, the power of the Most High, he is a very generous power, man. He is. And honestly, we all have committed sins worthy unto death. It's scary. You, know, you, you, come, you come in out there. The Lord can still have your mind out there doing this, that, and another, man. Bug the fuck out. It's like, nah, come, yeah, come to the steam, bro. It is, this, is, this is your only chance of salvation. This is your only chance basically to basically make it out of it, man. Truly. Not all like the whole Andrew Tate, this, that, because honestly, all that fucking riches that he has, bro. And that shit could all be simply stolen, bro. But the shit up here, your soul, the shit that Esau cannot take. Hey, that's, that's what, that was truly important in the truth, man. Fuck money, fuck wealth, fuck, fuck, man, fuck those bitches, bro. They ain't shit. You want to like want to be, be the man here? Want to be the man in this society? Why? There ain't shit here. It's all it's all it's all filthy. Back and get that real quick. Can you Micah? Is Micah two verse ten and reads, "Arise ye and depart, for this is not your breath." You guys polluted. It's to destroy you even the sword destruction. I understand. This is not our. This is not our time. This is not. It's not the kingdom yet. His rise he in the part because it is it's it because it is polluted and polluted on a physical level, physical level and spiritual level. Physically, right? There's fucking carbon. There's fucking dangerous gases, bro. There's, there's fucking plastic in your balls and shit, bro. Just like that. A bunch of plastic, bunch of this, bunch of gas, gasoline getting pumped in the air, man. A bunch of steroids and hormones that can, that can beef that. And honestly, at the end, you can't really avoid it. But even on a spiritual level, it is fucked up. The way we get paid is fucked up, man. And not according to the scriptures. Even want to be the amount of man, this side of the analysis is the right part, bro. This, this ain't shit. This is a wicked society. Why the fuck am I um, the man in a wicked society? It's evil. It's wicked here. This Esau, Esau can have all this. Two, th two thirds can have all this shit, man. They can have. They can live it up. This, that, other, bro. But honestly, what, 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 what we strive for. I can get, I'm gonna get the last, bro. This is Matthew 16. No, not 16. Second verse 19. They lay not every. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth, where moth and rust of corrupt, where thieves break through and steal. 
Hey, don't let your treasure shit, man. It ain't shit here. Everything that you have at any single moment can be fucking stolen. Or took it. By even a single fucking way, bro. But lay up for yourself treasures. Lay up. But, sorry, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. Where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. Nor thieves do not break through nor steal. So hey, fuck this. Fuck this side, bro. <laughs> at any moment, if someone wanted to, you could pull a gun and you fucking end your life right there and now. You could go. You could go to fucking Walmart, and that shit would happen. Like here in Arizona, it's open. It's open carry. It's open carry state. It's so really. It's so really fucking wanted to, bro. Some of them Walmart is fucking start busting, busting cats right there. I'm not being a man here. Being the second day, bro. Which I for is the holy thing. That's you gotta renew your mind. We try for things that we have not seen yet, man. So we're here, man. It ain't shit. With that, I'm going to pray for you. How will Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kapratash, that's how I'm going to tell them.